Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk, and this time I'm in... Oh, are we in Sussex or are we in uh, Hampshire? I think we're in Hampshire, aren't we? Or oh, we're right on the border, anyway. I'm... <laughs> I'm unsure. All I know is uh, Kevin Hall is here. Here he is, equipped <laughs> as if he's going on uh, a hike to the Antarctic. Hello, Good Kevin. morning. Hello, Richard. How are you? Yes, I'm very well. Thank you very much. Good. Uh, you are very well equipped. Oh, Look at this. I? Look at me. Blimey. Yes. Bits of equipment hanging from his belt yes. and all that. It's marvellous. Oh, got everything. We are in old. We are on old Winchester Hill. We are. We, are. we are. Yes. Yeah. What the hell are we doing here? <laughs> We are enjoying a beautiful Easter bank holiday Good Friday day. It's beautiful. Up, and yes. we are on Old um, Winchester Hill. Old Winchester Hill, yes. Which um, I am reliably informed is... Who by? <laughs> by Wikipedia, actually. <laughs> that it's an, uh, uh, the, there was an old um, Iron Age hill fort. Yes. There's Bronze Age burial mounds. There are. It's a, sci a place of scientific special interest. Yep. And there's something else, I can't remember what it was. But it's a nature reserve, a national nature reserve. Brilliant. Yep. So the world and his uh, public is going to come along, so we better get cracking. And, oh, I think you're right, because there's more and more cars coming into the car park. We don't want any of that, do no, we? No, no. So do you know which way we're going? Uh, we'll have a look at the map in front of us. Yes. And we'll find and out. And we'll plan our route. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Blimey, <laughs> we have barely gone anywhere. Nearly bumped into your camera then. <laughs> We've barely gone anywhere, uh, Kevin, and already we are presented with this rather incredible view. It's, it's absolutely stunning, isn't it? When um, you look around, the uh, you got all the fields and that down in the below us, and then the woodland as well, and you can see people dotted around all the hillsides. Yes, and then it's just an incredible, staggering, view. isn't it? Yeah, absolutely amazing. When when you park to come to Old Winchester Hill, you can park. You're actually already up, so you haven't got the big climb, which in one way is disappointing to me because I do enjoy the challenge of climbing up a bit of a hill. So you, we're already going on the the crest of everything, but you know you immediately get this terrific, huge view, and then ahead of us we can see quite clearly the old Winchester Hill and the um, the Iron Age Hill Fort. Yeah. Uh, so that would be great. And then you can just about see the bumps as well, where the burial mounds are. Absolutely. It's, so it's going to be... Yeah, it's going to be great to get up that bit, actually. Yeah. It looks a long way, but it's, but it's probably not that far. No, no, it'll be easy. And up in the sky, you've got hang gliders. I know, isn't that yeah. incredible? It's lovely. We, we saw the launching point when we drove along. Yeah, where they're all where they're, where they're all gathering, ready to, to take off. But obviously the, the thermals right. the yeah. thermals are great for them today. Yeah, right. Okay, let's crack on. Crack on. Well, we haven't really gone very far, but uh, what's really interesting. Apart from the fact that uh, Mr. Hall is also making a video, which you'll be able to go and check out on his YouTube channel, which will be basically a carbon copy of what I've done here. <laughs> uh, not really. <laughs> have a very different take. Uh, wh what's lovely is we're, we're walking on the top of this ridge, which seems to take us all the way to the uh, hill fort, which is very nice. But you're getting close up to the nature, and we're in April, middle of, middle of April now, yeah. and everything is just bursting isn't it it's lovely yeah because we, we saw the you saw the cow slips the cow slips just now and you've got just a, to our, our right here we've got the different stages where all the blossoms so opening you, up so you've got blackthorn here yep. which is going to be starting to uh, disappear soon yeah. or the, the blossom and then there's plenty of hawthorn which is now just coming into bloom which is rather fantastic um, and then on, on the other side, very vibrant, a very vibrant yellow. If I move round here, we have fields of our rape, making the old rapeseed oil, basically, I guess. 
which is terrific. There's uh, Kevin just setting up his camera. This is how Kevin operates. Oh, he's taking pictures. Are you taking pictures? I am, yeah. Yeah. I've got the um, the Xeon Smooth 4 uh, gimbal for my, um, my, my Android phone. And with it, it's a clever little bit of kit. You can take photographs from it, video from it, zoom in and out. And yeah, so it just serves my purpose really well. There are moments when you just have to jump off the main path because you've seen something which is has some personal meaning to you or indeed a friend of yours. And in this case, I'm going to crawl under here because there are yews, lovely yew trees. And we know someone, don't we, Kevin, who is... Uh, and absolutely in love with you. Oh, we do indeed. Yeah, the lovely Julia. She loves you. Yeah, she loves you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here we've got plenty of them. The other thing, of course, whenever you come into a, a, a patch of views like this, if you look down, you'll see that suddenly nothing beneath them grows. The ground is just full of the odd dropped pine needles and very barren because they ex exclude all the light and so nothing can grow. Yeah. Uh, Another thing Richard, have you noticed that since we've come under here how the temperature has dropped? Yes. Since we left the path which was in full sunshine? Yes. Maybe we should better get it back to the path <laughs> and, and warm up. Well, uh, well we could do but it's very nice underneath here but listen to the... listen. Beautiful. Oh, it's getting warm now. It's getting warm, isn't it, Kevin? Very warm, Richard, yes. We've come to uh, a signpost here, um, which shows us the where we are. I hadn't quite appreciated that we were on the South Downs Way. No, nor did I. Um, and not only were we on the South Downs Way, we were, there's a sign behind us that uh, demonstrates which side of the path you're supposed to be on. <laughs> One being uh, the bridle path, I suppose, for bicycles and horses, and then the other for people in wheelchairs and uh, people with small children. Yes. And I've got you. And it is. <laughs> not thank quite, not thank qu you, Daddy. <laughs> that's, that's quite all right. We are now at the foot. Oh, I should also mention there is the Monarch's Way. This is uh, also a crossover of the Monarch's Way. I'm not quite sure where the Monarch's Way, the other part of it is, but there's a, there's a sign here, which is great. I think we've actually walked along it. Oh, right. Well, either way, it's yeah. a bit of both then. Um, this gate is not locked, it says, even though there's a great big padlock on it. So I'm going to let you open that because you've got one free hand, even though you've got all that technical gear. Yes, you've got a gentleman. Here. Oh, I'll let this gentleman go through. Isn't it wonderful? Thank you. Was that you moaning? N no, that was the gate. Was that it? was the gate. Fair dues. Would I moan? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we very exciting moment. Now we have come to the beginning of the Iron Age Hill Fort, and just to make that um, absolutely 100%, there's a sign. This must be the east entrance, uh, or southeast anyway. South. The sun is over there. So it's the sort of southeast entrance of the Hill Fort that we're about to enter. You can see where the original gate would have been, probably a massive uh, wooden gate, possibly a palisade of oak or whatever on the top, all circling it. And of course the hill fort, as you can see over here, dug down uh, with a ditch, which is now infilled over the passage of time, probably all exposed and white and gleaming on the horizon back in the Iron Age times. Um, they believe the earliest settlements were about 3,800 years ago, which is uh, a colossal time to get your head round. But uh, a, pheasant, a pheasant there in the background, but we've seen kites flying above us. That's not those on the strings. These are the ones that are actually, um, you know, the birds. Personally, uh, as I was saying to you just now, I love to see the, the buzzards and the kites flying. Um, but a lot of things like farmers and that don't like them because they they can attack the, the baby lambs and things like that and, and can actually take them away. 
so that's why they hate them hard to imagine isn't it that they that these animals these great creatures mm. were likely to be extinct i saw a sign actually when we came through the gate uh, it's the second time i've seen this people now seem to be talking about this a lot dogs attacking sheep oh yes yeah there's um, been a lot in the news recently yeah is that a new fun a new thing that's happening i think to be honest it's the the dog owners just not doing what they're supposed to do and that's keep their dogs on, on the lead. lead yeah there's definitely signs here to advise yeah. people to do that the views up here you can see why anyone would want to put a hill fort here it's the same story with all these hill forts you get a 360 degree view all around you can keep an eye on whoever might be coming up against you and also farmers and what have you down in the low lands yeah. can uh, see the the power that would have been created by having a hill fort up here and a Absolutely. settlement yeah yeah ahead of us kevin yes. very excited uh we have the bronze age burial mounds we have indeed yes there's i think there's three of those yeah see we can definitely see two and then there's one above that of course again not that much to see as such because they are just big bumps but it's what they represent Absolutely. this one here looks like a a pit if i come over here i know that during the second world war uh, there were some munitions training going on and experiments with explosives so difficult to know whether that's a result of that or not but if i just sweep over here here we have a classic um, burial mound with a slight indentation that there was a ditch here so it could have been a bell mound i'm not sure <laughs> We have arrived at the, uh, the the trig point and the observation point uh, which is just here behind us which is great always when you go on a walk <laughs> not always but a lot of people love to come up to a trig point uh, 1930s concrete trig this one if you're interested is 32730 and uh, we get very interesting little areas of what we can see beacon hill beacon hill privet church Yep. a wood what else have we got there have to come around a bit uh, ports downhill and chichester harbour which is away in that direction down that way hms mercury that way in that direction there we go uh it's been a, a fantastic walk i've enjoyed it coming up to old winchester hill lots to see lots of nature lots of um history archaeology and all of that but in a, a simple video like this you can't really cover it but thanks Kevin for bringing me here. Oh, you're very welcome Richard, it's been a lovely time. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow, like and subscribe. <coughs> Become a patron and support what we do here, making all these different diverse videos as much as we can. And I will see you on the next one. A big thanks to Kevin for taking us out. Don't forget to check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can have a look at his wonderful films. Thank you very much. He goes out walking and makes the same sort of nonsense as I do. <laughs> and we'll see you then on the next one. Bye for now. Bye-bye.